Welcome children. Today we are going to start with poster making. Poster is a powerful piece of writing that speaks to the viewers more than words. Making poster allows students to answer a question by using their imagination and creative skills. To ace the question on poster making, let us go through these slides quickly. The first slide it shows you format of poster. As you can see, first of all, in your poster, you should mention theme or the topic of the event. It should be highlighted, first of all. Then, underneath the theme, a catchy tagline for the event should be clearly visible in bold, underlined or in capitals. Then, a short title of the event should appear after tagline. Then if there are some special attractions of that event or of that awareness program like guest or speaker that should be mentioned. And just after that if there are some illustrations means uh, some information you want to illustrate you want to provide it should be provided with proper suitable pictorial representation some diagrammatic format like star or square or circle you should use some diagram relevant to your theme and then you should uh, illustrate your information you should write the main message you want to convey through your poster for example if there is some blood donation camp you can draw a drop of blood for that so this way i am telling you and the next important thing in case of event do remember only in case of event is date time and venue of the event it should be clearly mentioned along with other relevant information such as any entry fee or any ticket or any seats to be reserved in advance whatever you want to convey you'll be conveying here then after that the details of issuing authority or the organizers is a must you need to mention that so it completes your format of poster then children let's have a look at the types of poster see poster uh, means they should clearly mention the theme or topic and they should be prepared by keeping the target audience in mind so Depending on that only, the posters are divided into different types. First is invitation like posters. These type of posters are for carnivals, fests, exhibitions to be conducted. We write posters like this. And then there are some uh, posters which are for social causes. Some warning, some prevention and some caution, some help, some action, some awareness program we want uh, for the public. Then we draw this type of poster. Then the third type of poster, it is workshop or seminars. Sometime if we are going to conduct some seminar or some workshop, then we write this type of poster where we just inform. Uh, then in this kind of poster, we need to mention the date, time and venue. And in invitations also, we write date, time and venue. But in social cause, warning or prevention or awareness cause type of poster, we need not to write date, time or venue. Because this is for general purpose, only to inform the public we are writing awareness type of social cause type of posters. So that's the difference in them. Next children, posters should be attractive and tempting. We all know it means poster must be drafted carefully to attract the attention of target audience excite their imagination and influence their minds but don't forget posters are read from a distance so do not give many details in poster highlight only important issues so for that reason only i have uh, prepared this uh, slide telling main features of a poster so this slide is just in relevance with the uh, format of the poster. I'm just explaining you that in same format in layout section that what are the things you need to take care in contents what are the things and while expressing in your expressions what are the things you should keep in your mind. See in layout 
you need to keep in your mind that you should use some slogan uh, which is eye catching then title should be really very suggestive one it can be a short verse also and then sketch or simple drawings uh, should must appear in your poster it should not look very much verbose there should be some drawing some pictorial presentation in your poster then uh, in order to make it attractive you can use uh, letters of different size and shape means sometime you can use all capitals sometimes smalls you can create difference with the different size and shape of letters and then of course uh, there should be proportionate spacing between the information you are conveying means it should not be uh, written in essay style or something that after one line second is coming and means you should write chunks of the information and those chunks of the information should be given proper spacing so that everything becomes clear from distance and people can read it and while writing your contents you need to take care that uh, you should mention theme or the subject of the poster then description or the details associated with the theme should be very neatly mentioned clearly mentioned essential details like time date venue wherever it is needed like in the case of event it is needed should be mentioned and then last is the name of issuing authority that must come there then while expressing in your expression mode what you need to take care that you are not to write full fledged sentences yes you can write phrases you can write slogans you can you must use persuasive language means very convincing language should be there then creativity in terms of content and design is a must overall organization and sequencing of the matter you should take care means it should not be haphazard arrangement first theme should come then there should be uh, there should be something some eye catching phrase or uh, some tag line and then uh, the important details and then after that issuing authority means sequence should be proper one it should not be disturbed yes because it is for the academic purpose you have to use uh, take care uh, about the word limit usually it is for 50 words so it should not be exceeded maybe five words uh, you can exceed or five words you can uh, decrease also but it, it should not be more than that means you should bear, bear in your mind that your word limit for poster writing is 50 so for academic purpose for your board exams you need to observe this word limit of 50 words yes this is the most important point i want you to keep in your mind that you can't afford to forget to provide the name of the individual or organizing organization issuing the poster that is the issuing authority should not be missed at the bottom of the poster it is a must usually children they forget it and they lose their marks so do take care that once you complete your poster name of issuing authority should appear in the bottom then there are some other suggestions you should take care while writing your poster and that is that uh, put the most important information in the largest print and position it close to the top of the poster because it is the most important information and you don't want your reader your viewer to miss it so you just mention it in the beginning only and then use a font that conveys a mood and tone appropriate to the subject you should take care and then next yes this is very important separate information on the poster into chunks that are easily read see don't forget that your poster is to be read from a distance public is going to read it from a distance so if it is will uh, it if it it will contain long sentences full fledged sentences no one uh, is going to take interest in that so you need to divide your sentences your information in the form of phrases and those phrases should be mentioned at proportionate distance so in chunks the information should be easily uh, read 
next is uh, leave plenty of wide space so by this point what i mean is that it should not be means your whole poster should not be very much verbose because uh, you have to use the pictorial representation diagrams or pictures means you can draw anything to make your poster attractive and more informative but it should not be too much of the things written in the poster means it should not appear heavy to the eyes because then no one is going to take interest in it and no one will read it so we should make it uh, appear as if very little information is given and then everyone takes interest because they think that uh, it is going to take only a minute or something to read it and they they can afford that much time they read it and the poster should be in a box yes this is a must point otherwise you are going to lose marks in your exam if you are not going to put it in a box just like notice writing you need to put your poster also in a box do not use very complex language your posters should be because it is uh, mostly for the general public and uh, it it is not compulsory that in general public everyone would be uh, taking interest in your complex language it should be easily understood so complex language should be avoided do not use short forms of the words it is again the same thing because if you are going to use short forms so some people may not be able to comprehend those short forms so you are not allowed to use these short forms also bold or underline the important information inside the poster because otherwise it would look monotonous one if you will not create this type of difference because uh, for academic purpose you can't use uh, colors for your poster writing academic purpose when you are attempting this question in your exam you are uh, allowed to use either a pencil or a pen but of one color only that is the blue color pen you can use so how you are going to make it attractive with single color that sometime you can bold something sometime you can underline something something sometime you can make something capital sometime you can use big font for some information sometime some information you can write in small font you can draw some star and under that star you can write or in that star you can write information so this way you have to make your poster presentable attractive one then i have solved one example for you so that you have one view that uh, one idea clear idea that how your poster should look like so you can see there is lot of uh, white space white space means lot of blank space in the poster but still the information is conveyed very nicely see how first of all let's read the statement you are the secretary of your colony design a poster for the cleanliness drive so cleanliness drive that is my main theme so i am going to present this main theme in a catchy phrase cleanliness begins at home children usually in general or in academic english when we write we can't mix capital and small letters but here in order to make our poster look attractive we can do that so see i have mixed here capital and small letters you can do in poster writing cleanliness begins at home and then underneath that i have drawn uh, one rectangle and then i have given a slogan that is let's make our colony a clean and neat place to live join us for cleanliness drive so i have written this in uh, in chunks see my information is in chunks small pieces of information they are divided with e proper spacing and different uh, way i have presented it then i have drawn uh, one cloud on the side to give the important information that when we are this is going to happen that on march 1st 2020 assemble at japanese park rohini sector 11 at 10 am so all the important details they are mentioned but still they are not boring and next i have given one important motto one important information and uh, that is to exhort public to motivate public and what uh, that i have written is we pledge to remove filth plant more trees put more dust bins on the roads so this way the whole information of my poster is conveyed and 
uh, still it is looking uh, not very much verbose not very much heavy still it is looking light and the last important thing at the bottom i have mentioned issued by and here it was you are the secretary of your colony so issuing authority is colony secretary i have written issue i have written colony secretary as issuing authority here next beta i have given you one practice exercise design a poster to spread awareness among the youth about blindness and the importance of donating eyes so this is for you you try to write it after revising this whole video again you um, first revise all the guidelines i have given you and then try to revise after revising the format try to write this one uh, this poster and then we can discuss it in our next lecture till then keep practicing good day children